five, four, three, Preliminary. two, one. Engines at full thrust. Launch. Lift off. Lift off of the Soyuz rocket and Expedition 16 to the International Space Station. Unintelligible. Lift off at 8:22 a.m. Central Time, 7:22 p.m. at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The Soyuz first stage delivering 102 tons of thrust from four boosters in a single engine. The first stage, 68 feet long, 24 feet in diameter. The first stage burns for two minutes and six seconds. Forty seconds. Fifty seconds. Pressure is nominal. Everything is nominal on board. Unintelligible. Velocity now one thousand one hundred miles per hour for the Soyuz. At 1 minute 58 seconds, the jettison of the four strap-on boosters will occur. Those uh, completing their job, dropping away at an altitude of 28 miles. The Soyuz traveling then at about 3,350 miles an hour. Boosters separating uh, from the Soyuz. Separation. The escape tower and launch shroud jettison. Three minutes and three seconds since launch, traveling now at a speed of about 4,700 miles an hour for the Soyuz. The second stage of the Soyuz uh, performing as advertised. The second stage, 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter. A single engine providing 96 tons of thrust for three minutes and 28 seconds. Separation confirmed. Hundred ninety seconds parameters and nominal copy. This is a live view from inside the Soyuz spacecraft. Soyuz Commander Yuri Malenchenko in the center seat. In the right seat, Malaysian spaceflight participant Sheikh Muzaffar Shakur. Unintelligible. Nominal, unintelligible. Something is nominal. Coming up on uh, five minutes since liftoff. The second stage will burn out at that point and separate at an altitude of about 105 miles. The ignition of the third stage of the Soyuz spacecraft. Live television from on board. Visible in this view, a uh, mascot uh, chosen 
for the Soyuz uh, by Yuri Milenchenko's children. Unintelligible. Um, we have confirmed stage separation. Everything is nominal on board. It's the second stage of the Soyuz separates. So four liquid-fueled engines completed their task. About four minutes of powered flight remaining for the spacecraft in the booster. The Soyuz now being propelled by the single engine of the Soyuz's third stage, that engine providing 30 tons of thrust, burning for four minutes and two seconds. This view now showing ex Expedition 16 International Space Station Commander Peggy Whitson, seated to the left of Malenchenko, Yuri Malenchenko, Soyuz Commander in the center seat. Whitson, a biochemist with a doctorate from Rice University, making her second trip to the station, as is uh, Malenchenko. Malenchenko, a 45-year-old veteran cosmonaut and colonel in the Russian Air Force. Whitson is an Iowa native. Malenchenko, a native of the Ukraine. Seated uh, to the right of Malenchenko in the spacecraft is Sheikh Muzaffar Shakur, a 35-year-old orthopedic surgeon from Kuala Lumpur, flying to the station uh, for a 10-day visit under a commercial agreement with the Russian Federal Space Agency. The Soyuz in good shape as it continues its climb to orbit. Four hundred ten seconds, everything is nominal. And until About seven minutes into the flight now. The Soyuz powered by its third stage. The third stage is single engine. Just under two minutes left to go in the Soyuz climb to orbit. Uh, 430 seconds. Uh, engines are operating nominally. Copy. The Soyuz now traveling almost 13,500 miles an hour en route to a docking with the International Space Station, set for about 9.52 a.m. Central Time on Friday. 450. Flight is proceeding nominally. Copy. Four hundred ninety seconds. Copy I get. About fifty seconds until cut off of the final engine of the Soyuz booster. That uh, set to occur about nine minutes after launch. Once the Soyuz uh, has completed its climb to orbit, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare it for orbital operations. Those uh, deploying the solar rays and antennae of the Soyuz. I'd like to you, congratulate you on the successful launch and all the very best. I'll copy. Thank you very much, Anatoly Nikolaevich. Everything is going well. We're looking forward to your successful work in orbit.